Hello, everybody. I'm Victor Amoyo of the Codex Prime Podcast here at Rhode Island Comic Con 2024. Here with the legendary artist Raymond Gay, yes, sir. author of such, uh, artists of such titles as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Last Ronin, yep. Spawn, and Gunslinger Spawn. Oh, yeah. So how are you enjoying the con? I'm enjoying it, man. It's our first time here. Uh, I'm, I'm loving it, man. It's, I guess, our first time here, so we're just blown away by meeting cool people like yourself and just the sights, man. Checking out downtown. Uh, beautiful city. Oh, yeah. So we're loving the vibe, man. So, um, yeah, we're having a good time so far. Okay. Awesome. So, yeah, yeah. Talk a bit about uh, your work and, like, how you got into the world of comics. Well, uh, I started, I mean, it didn't, it didn't happen overnight for me. i uh, just been working at it, trying to, you know, hone my skills, just practicing um, day in and day out. That's what I stress the most to uh, up-and-coming artists. Just put in the work. Um, I started off just doing, like, about a, a bunch of indie published covers, you know, um, Worked my way, worked my way up, man. From the bottom, took on any job that I could do, uh, that they offered, and then um, Todd McFarlane actually came knocking on my Instagram door. I thought it was a hoax. That's somebody was playing around with me. He reached out on me on Instagram, and that's where it started. As far as like me doing coverage for you know Todd McFarlane and Spawn and all that, um, and then everything else, the Ninja Turtles just uh, stores, you know, comic book shops are hitting me up there. And they do want to do a cover for us, and I was like, sure. So I was just basically trying to take on as much work as I can, just to get my name out there, you know, just just what I whatever I can do, you know. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, I'll talk a bit about your work on the Last Ronin. What was that like getting into that world of uh, Ninja Turtles? Oh, the Last Ronin was phenomenal, man. I, I mean, the Ninja Turtles have been with me ever since I was a you know a kid. Uh, with any of us, um, just watching the first movie back in the nineties, uh, that was it for me. You know what I mean? I was. If, if anything, that was, it was the movie was what started it off for me. So, um, I mean, I, there, was, there was the Mirage comics that were early on, um, but just the movie really kick-started everything for me. So being able to come back and help with the final chapters of their, um, I guess, of their years, you know, it's, it, was, it's, it was bittersweet because um, just knowing how they all, I don't want to spoil it, but just knowing how it ended for the brothers and it's, it, it's, it's a really sad story. But it's it's very powerful, and it's, it's 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 a fitting ending for them, I think. But just working with people like Ben, um, just the top dogs in the in the the last Ronin world, it's just phenomenal. There's a bunch of artists that are coming together to just, you know what I mean, to send these characters off. So it's it's been a, it's been a cool experience so far. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> and, and also too, in addition to Ninja Turtles, I mentioned earlier that you worked on Spawn and Gunslinger Spawn. Yeah. Um, what is it like working in, in that series that's been around? Like it's like the one of the premier indie titles like, for like the last 30 years. Oh, it's been great, man. Um, you know, as the, to give you a little insight, like my editor there, uh, Thomas Healy, he's, uh, he, he gives us free reign there. Uh, like, just come up with something cool. So we have a lot of freedom for these characters with, with you know, with Spawn. And I think that's really cool because, you know, there's, there's some publishers that'll be like, well, I want it to look like this and can you do it like that? There's a lot of, you know, demands, but I get it. You know, that's their IP. They're trying to protect the, the look. But with, with, with Image, they're, well, Thomas Healy, my editor, he's just, he's really cool. Man. Just, his hands off, he's like, just make something that looks cool. I'm like, oh, wow, that's, that's awesome. You know what I mean? It's a lot of freedom. Um, so just working with Spawn, again, I grew up with Spawn. It's, it's, it's surreal that I'm able to, so far, I've been able to draw the characters that I love, and I'm doing that now. So it's Gunslinger Spawn, you know, he's a character that came after. Um, but that story is so awesome. If you're into like the whole Western gunslinger, um, just vibe of it, you know what I mean? Um, and I heard that that's actually Todd's, one of Todd's favorite characters is gunslinger spawn. Oh, really? So, um, and I was like, well, that's crazy, man. Uh, I, <laughs> but spawn has, will always stay with me. It's one of those characters that's just, it's iconic. Well, in my world, cause that's what I grew up with. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's been amazing. Nice. And uh, lastly, just to wrap it up, are there any like cool projects that, that are in the works for you right now? Anything that you yeah, can talk man. about? Um, I'm, I'm, again, they, I'm doing I'm doing a few more gunslinger spawns for them, so they'll be coming out. They kind of take a little while because you know I have to wait in line. There's a bunch of great artists ahead of me, so um, I just got to wait in line. Like that guns, like the gunslingers that I've done. You know, I've done them like almost a year and a half ago, a year ago. So anyway, um, more gunslingers. Um, I'm doing um, a Witchblade cover for Top Cow. Um, was recently offered a gig to do Red Coat. It's a story off of um, 
the Ghost Machine series. I mean, the Ghost Machine publisher. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with them. Oh yeah. Yeah, Rook and Geiger. Amazing, amazing stories that they got over there. Uh, so those are the big ones that I've, I've got coming down the pipeline. So I'm excited for those. So, uh, I hope people like them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So yeah, Raymond. Uh, yeah, it's a pleasure meeting you. Yes, yeah, pleasure, uh, man. Thank you guys. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, check out this work. Yeah. Podcast.